In this video, I'll be showing you how to attach the Stiffy to the X50 Onefinity CNC models. Let's get started. Start with your 4mm hex key, removing the bolts on top of the plate on the X gantry. Once these bolts are removed, we can remove the plate holding the curly cable, exposing the top of the X gantry for us to attach the Stiffy to. With the plate removed, we can now see how our Stiffy will sit on top of our existing X rail. To install the Stiffy to the X rail, we'll first have to disassemble it. Our next step is to remove the two bolts holding the tube into place in the foot, as well as loosening the trimming bolts on either side. Use your 3mm key to do this, setting your bolts aside and placing them in your container so you don't lose them on the way. When loosening the tramming bolt, you just need to loosen it enough so that it will release from the tube and allow it to slide off. Once that's loose, simply slide the foot off and set it aside. Next, we can slide our gantry off of the tube so that we can remove the bearing. To remove the bearing, we'll need to loosen the four set screws holding it in place using a 2.5 millimeter hex key. Loosen the set screws so that the bearing is loose, but do not remove the set screw completely from the gantry. Once all set screws are loose, you can then slide the bearing out of the gantry block. Now that we've got that disassembled, we'll need to attach the gantry block as well as the foot portion of the stiffy. Using the hardware provided, we're going to attach the gantry block with the silver screws and the foot with the black screws. You'll notice there is a set of shorter and longer screws. The longer ones go on the front towards the front of the gantry and the shorter ones go towards the back. Now we can go ahead and place our bolts in the right positions. Shorter ones at the back and the longer ones at the front. We can now use our four millimeter hex key going through the top of the gantry and secure. With our foot attached, we can now place our bearing back in its spot. Simply slide it in and use the same two and a half millimeter hex key from before to re-tighten the set screws. It's also important while doing this to make sure that the bearing is centered inside of the gantry block. Once that's secured, we're now ready to install the rest of the stiffy. Now that our gantry block is installed, we can slide our foot onto the existing X-Rail foot. You'll notice there's a place where the existing bolts will index, meaning it can only line up one way. You'll also notice there is a hole going through the top of the foot and the middle section and bottom of the foot. This is so that we can screw a bolt into the top of the existing X-Rail. Next, we'll use the provided bolts to attach the foot using the hole to access the bolt. Now we can attach the foot to the existing rail using the provided bolts. In this video, I'm using a three millimeter hex head, but the production units will come with a four millimeter hex head. The easiest way to do this is to line up the bolt before inserting the foot. Once you've got it lined up, place your bolt through, then use your hex key to tighten into place. On the end opposite of the foot that's already been installed, we will slide our linear tube through the bearing and gantry block all the way until it reaches the other end, going inside of this foot. You'll notice it slides into place and the other side indexes perfectly. Moving back to the foot we've just installed, we can now take the screws from the top of the tube and reinstall them. We'll use our three millimeter hex key to tighten these into place. Once those are secure, we can re-tighten our tramming bolts just so that they grab the tube. Next, we will repeat the process of securing the foot to the existing rail on the opposite end. Insert your bolt, followed by your three millimeter hex key. It's easiest to keep your finger on this until you feel the hex key has settled into the head of the bolt, then you can secure it. Now we have both feet secure, our last thing to do is reattach the plate holding the curly cable on top of the X gantry. 
using the bolts we took off earlier, we're going to reattach this plastic plate to the top of the X gantry. With the stiffy now installed entirely, we can reattach our Z slider and get back to carving.